everybody, and welcome to Pomeroy Art Academy's Breakfast Club. And I'm going to show you my approach to designing cartoon heads. So let's get started. You know, I guess my approach to drawing cartoon heads, like I was talking about with um, cartoon bodies and cartoon characters, is, you know, the basics of, you know, the cube, the triangle, the circle, the rectangle. And just starting off with that, you know, with, you know, a um, dowel shape or a cylinder, you know, for, you know, any appendages. But, you know, you, you can try all kinds of fun compositions and, and uh, you know, it gets to be um, uh, an exercise for you to discover how you can take each one of these shapes and maybe distort it or change it a little bit and come up with some fine, um, you know, uh, variations. If you take a head, like for instance, a normal head shape. I'll draw it a little larger here. Normal head, uh, eye level, uh, eye line right there, media line right there. Uh, nose placement is about halfway between the eye line and the chin, and then mouth roughly between the bottom part of the nose. Uh, to add a little masculine touch, you can square off the jaw, make the eyes a little smaller, hairline. ears coming off the eye line, nice big expressive brows, cheekbones, so there is, you know, a, your standard human head design. And you can do all kinds of things with the nose and giving that shape something interesting, uh, giving the eyes character, eyebrows, all kinds of things that you can do, hairdos. Now, if you take that basic head idea and you can create a whole different design universe if you want to. Take the eye line and scoot it up to the top portion of the head with a longer nose. you have a whole different type of design sense that you're establishing. This is more generic. This is getting more stylized simply because I started out with a higher eye line and just having fun with the shapes, trying to create something that's a little more unique and a little bit different. If I were to take the same basic head shape proportion, erase this just a little bit, so I can place it side by side, take that same head pr proportion, and here we have our eye line there, We've uh, put it up at the top of the head. Now, what if we just did the reverse and created an eye line that was much lower? Interesting character variation. Could be the basis for 
an alien, a goblin, an elf. Any number of interesting creatures. So just doing that little alteration will be enough to kind of kickstart your little imagination into, you know, all kinds of different possibilities. Um, if you're going for a, uh, a princess or you're trying to, uh, a, a female, usually a good head shape uh, to start out with is what we call a heart shape. And you build off of that. Eye line, uh, you've got the hairline. Medial line, your hairline is usually good for framing. A female character's head. Large eyes are fun. A little shadow over them. Small mouths. And there's the basis for uh, a woman character. Um, Mouths are real interesting too on faces, especially for women, because you can have every type of variation. You can have something that is almost clownish with very elongated corners of the mouth and angular jaws. You can you do an eye line. You can do, let's see, nose. You can do a very, very thick upper lip with a very slender lower lip. There's another combination right there. There's all sorts of different things that you can try out. The sky's the limit. And same with hairdos. I mean, uh, hairdos flowing over the eye, or a hairdo that's pulled back in a tight bun. all kinds of combinations. I get a lot of inspiration for um, characters just watching old movies and the different types of, of hairstyles and body styles and shapes that go on and on and on and on. Um, if you're drawing a um, a small child or even a, an infant, you want to start out with rectangles. Rectangles are a real good place to start. Uh, it can give you the base of it. It'd be medium or low eye line because a large cranium is always suggesting an infant of some sort. Large pupils. 
cute little eyelashes, tiny little eyebrows, cute little nose, butt of a nose. Lots of cheek. Indentation for a chin. Ears. Almost no neck. But you can start with a basic shape. Um, superhero, that would be basically a slightly tapering rectangle with a tapered neck, big jaw, nice size nose. The eye line would be a lot higher. And hairdo is sky's the limit. Cheekbones. You can even wear a mask. But you start out with a, a real basic shape, just with a nice, nice rectangular shape and just start building off of that. And the rest of it just kind of takes off because it'll be neck, torso, shoulder, arms, waist belt, start just putting together your own superhero. Get some nice dynamics and bend in the in the legs. So these are all nice little tips uh, uh, that you can that you can follow to help you with you know tackling some uh, easy or some difficult uh, character designs. So I urge you to keep sketching and practice those design shapes. Thanks for watching and it's been great. I enjoyed teaching you and I look forward to seeing you next week on Breakfast Club. Bye-bye. <laughs>